Adhesion contracts are standardized or boilerplate agreements with non-negotiable terms that are set by one party, leaving the other party with no real choice but to take it or leave it. Arizona's highest court considered whether an adhesive arbitration agreement signed before a young woman's clinical abortion was enforceable in Bromer v. Abortion Services of Phoenix. 21-year-old Melinda K. Bromer was a high school graduate who made very little money and had no medical insurance. Bromer was also pregnant and being pulled in two different directions. The unwilling father-to-be wanted Bromer to get an abortion while her parents wanted her to keep the baby. Suffice it to say, this was a confusing and emotionally stressful time for Bromer. Bromer went to Abortion Services of Phoenix, where she was promptly asked to complete several forms. One of these was an agreement to arbitrate, which provided that any future dispute between the parties would be subject to binding arbitration by licensed medical doctors. Less than five minutes later, Bromer returned the completed and signed forms to the front desk without understanding what arbitration even was. Bromer got the abortion the next day, and the procedure resulted in a punctured uterus. One and a half years later, Bromer filed a medical malpractice suit. The trial court entered summary judgment for abortion services of Phoenix, finding that the court lacked jurisdiction because of the arbitration agreement. The Court of Appeals affirmed, finding that although the arbitration agreement was an adhesion contract, the agreement was enforceable. Bromer appealed to the Arizona Supreme Court.